Today is time to work on the old Dodge Dakota. This thing right here is my Dakota 2001 quad cab 5.9 V8. Baddest truck in the world, practically a Hellcat Gladiator. It's time for this trick to do with the pan. So these things, automatic transmissions, don't usually have a drain plug at all. They want you to take the whole pan off and replace the fluid along with a new gasket and a filter, which I already put up there. But when I buy something that's old and it's like neglected, it has, um, it's got like probably 12 quarts of ATF in this, but when you change the pan gasket and filter you only get about four out of it so there's still a torque converter up there full of oil and most of that is just as old and nasty as all this other stuff that came out so what I'm going to do is put a drain plug in this stock pan so that after I run it for a little while I can drain it and refill that fluid level or I can drain it and refill that fluid so that it ends up being clean um, more often than not so this is what's going to happen Simple little guy right here. This is like a 5 16 bolt, a 5 16 copper washer. This is just like one of those copper washers you can get from any of the auto parts stores to use them for banjo bolts and brakes. And then a nut. Um, and what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the pan. I found out on the transmission where there's not a bunch of stuff hanging down from that uh, valve body and filter. It looks like I can drill a hole right here and it's not gonna affect anything. So I'm gonna take my drill, blast a hole in that. Doesn't have to be super big because usually when you're like doing a transmission service, you're not like in a race. So a little tiny hole about I don't know, somewhere between a quarter and five sixteenths is adequate. Just make sure that it's in a spot on the pan, like I said, where on the inside it's not going to get um, messed up by stuff hanging down. And on the outside, you've got a nice flat surface that that, uh, that copper gasket can seal against. I think there's already, I mean, there's aftermarket pans that come with a drain plug already. And then there's other like kits that you can buy in order to do this, but I'm able to do it with just a bunch of scrap stuff laying around. So, all right, I'm gonna weld the nut on the inside. Um, there's a couple ways of thinking about this. Like you can weld the nut on the inside and then know that you're not gonna get that last quarter inch of oil out. Or you can grind a little notch in the nut, which is what I'll probably do, so that the oil can still drip past a little bit, and you're just relying on that seal from that copper washer to, uh, to fix everything up so it doesn't leak. So I'm going to grind a little notch in the nut, a little notch there. This thing will get tacked inside. It doesn't even have to be welded all the way around because it's just got to not spin, and then it will seal on that copper washer on the outside of the pan. So... I'm gonna bust that out real quick. Everything's so dirty, nasty. Grammy gross. Handy dandy grinder. Maybe I'll get these last so I don't have to get an air hose. I'm due for a new air hose because this thing is leaking all over. My shop looks all new and fancy, and the shop is, but all my tools are like old and worn out it seems like. I used to have an actual shop back in the day um, where I did like fab work and exhaust work and all that kind of stuff. So it's like all these tools 
is all stuff that I've had forever, but I'm now working out of my backyard, which is awesome, with my fancy new shop. Stop leaking, dude. All right, that'll go like that, and we'll go like that, and then we gotta find the nut there, and throw some glasses on my face. All I'm doing here is just cutting a little notch, just enough so that like oil can get through it. It doesn't take much. So we got that little guy right there notched up and it is going to go on the inside of the pan and then I'm going to bolt this, put the bolt through it, tighten all that junk up so that it sits kind of square. This is going to work good. I've never actually done the little notch in the bolt thing before so we will find out if it works or not. I think it will. It has to. It has no choice. Tighten that guy up, and then I'm just going to bust a couple of little welds on there so this thing doesn't spin. This is fun. Thanks for watching me work on my truck. Right here is where I probably blow everything up. is done look at that super cool quick basic little modification this should totally help this truck in the long run very hot oh yeah it's real hot come off of there i want to show everybody Anyways, you get the picture. That is going to get this little guy in there, and when you tighten it up, it'll seal it so it won't leak. But then when you do want to drain that fluid, it'll drain all the stuff out the hole, and then the last little bit will go out those little notches that are, like, cut into the nut. All right, I'm going to clean this up and put it in the truck.